Welcome to the ISBC Cake Academy channel today and today we are going to be making a very very simple wafer paper flour and these are all the tools that we are going to be using. In the description box below you have a list, a full list of all that I use. Now that is a set of teardrop cutters and we are going to be using the third and the fourth cutter now to cut your petals get your wafer paper on the table and then press your cutter gently on it and you will see the mark that it has left behind that will be your guide to cut each of the sizes and for each sizes we are going to be cutting five to six petals so you can cut them individually or you can cut them in a group of three make sure that you don't cut more than that so that you get a clean cut now if you like what you're seeing already then you can just look below and click on the subscribe button in this channel we are all about sugar flowers wafer paper flowers and all things cake decoration and while you're at it don't forget to also press the notification bell so you know when we post amazing videos like this so let's kick on now we are going to be making the center of our flower so this is eight centimeters long okay this is a strip and about two centimeters uh wide uh, high now cut out tiny little strips tiny 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 little strips on your strip this is making a statement make sure they are not fat because it will look funny make sure it's really really tiny and then you will get a very beautiful center now once that is perfectly cut you can go over it cut the ones that are fat okay now i'm going to be using some sugar glue and using it at the bottom because we did not cut out the strips to the end we cut it midway okay now with a wire which is 18 gauge cut it make a hook at the top and then you are going to use this and wrap your strip around your wire okay make sure it's done firmly but gently so that you don't cut your strip so make sure that it's well glued and attached to your wire properly so that it doesn't slide off but that's a uh, slide off your wire that's the essence of the hook so that it prevents your statement from falling away now you just set it aside to dry a bit once it's a little bit dry with some food dust yellow in color egg yellow i'm using egg yellow paint the center that stamen that you have just done okay now we are going to be adding some pollens now these pollens i made from cornmeal just add some food uh, color to it and it turns it yellow Paint the tip of your stamen with some sugar glue and dip it into your cornmeal and you have that ready. Just keep that aside and let it dry. Now we are, it's time to paint our petals individually. Now this mixture is made with some vodka and some glycerin and food color. Now paint each of your petals gently and you can add some cornstarch to prevent it from getting sticky okay now cut the center i'm using the same color the food color the, the paint to glue my my petals together because it's wafer paper anything you actually use on it glues it with something else okay so i just cut it in the center glued it to itself to make it cupped and put it on my plastic spoons okay and just let it set it's going to take less than 10 to 15 minutes to dry once that is dry remove it from your spoons dust out the uh, uh what is it called the corn flour and then it's time to glue them to the center that stamen that we had made so i'm painting some sugar glue to the bottom and adding them to my stamen one after the other so what i do generally is i put a first set because it's not easy putting everything all at once it may just fall off so to make it more sturdy and more firm i put the first five or six depending on how many petals i want to use first let it dry upside upside down and then when it's time again you put 
when it's dry a bit you put the next set okay and you have a flower that is firm and ready to use almost immediately okay now this is how you do this flower i have a sugar flower factory where i teach people how to make sugar flowers and wafer paper flowers it's an online class and it's available for you to register right now for to you to do that you can look below in the description box below and you can click it and get to where you can make the payment for that online class where we teach you how to make sugar flowers and wafer paper flowers i would really love for you to be there do you like working with wafer paper have you worked with wafer paper uh, wafer paper before let me know in the comment section it's not as difficult as you think let me know your thoughts about wafer paper so i'm going to be putting my last fertile and we are almost there this wafer paper flower is going to be really beautiful you can do as many as you need and add them to your cake now this was made in pink you can make it in whatever shade of color that you want so now i am just taping the bottom of my flower and my wafer paper flower is ready <music> 